Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, my subscribers, and my Trevorites, but mainly good morning to the subscribers, because you are the people that keep the channel growing. Also, good morning to my lovers, haters, basic basic chicken chasers, YouTube creators, master bakers, yeah. Anyway, if you're watching this video right now and you've not yet subscribed, why not? It's free. Well, people, it's Wednesday again. Wednesday. The day of hand over takeover in the cold household where I go and I, I hand, well, I go and collect things blown to my son from his mother's and we do the little chat, maybe share a coffee and then we move forward. Yes. We move forward. Yes. Not forgetting my little dog Zeus, which will arrive today at some stage. 2 p.m. I believe. So what's happening? Well, Thank you for the emails last night. I had loads of messages come in after my video yesterday. And I did that video. I didn't go into too much depth, if I'm honest. Uh, I should do that in another one, maybe a part two. But I explained complex PTSD and PTSD. I used the onion sort of analogy type thing to let you see and understand it. And that's because a lot of veterans' wives send me messages about their husband suffering. What do I do? What do I do? And the thing is, it's getting them to take ownership of what's happening up here in order to, in order to keep keep that marriage going forward the minute he shuts down it's over and, and that's the truth of it so it's finding a way a common ground through that but i enjoyed the messages and i'm glad you enjoyed the video um yeah it's been an interesting 24 hours uh jason jason's in paris yeah people are asking me where jason is he's in paris enjoying his trip um yeah, and I'm really pleased about the reviews that you've been putting on Amazon. I've had 10 five-star reviews so far. I'm really pleased. I know Amber Cleans is still on its way. There's usually a problem when you put, sometimes there's, whenever you put it in, it takes a few days. It will get there. But thank you. And if you have read it, please leave a review. And let's go back to the other book, First in the Sangin. If you've read that, please leave a review. I know it's sold thousands of copies. And there's only 647 reviews on the first book. And it's been out eight years. So I don't understand why people don't give me five seconds of their time and write a review. Whether it's your book is shit or your book's good. It doesn't matter. They all count. Right. So what else is going on? Well, do you remember Nicola Bully? Uh, that beautiful mother that died. Uh, no one knows what happened to her. Um, but it's still in the paper. Her last moments leaving her house in this. Listen, police force. We don't need to know her last moments. We know she ended up, passed away, dead, deceased. Stop putting stuff out about her. Just deal with your job and let's champion the evidence to either convict someone or to say she had mental health. Just find a way around it. But we don't need to keep updated because you've got to remember that family and friends are reading this every day. That's my opinion anyway. Right. If you aren't aware, there's been riots in Paris over the last 24 hours. And that is because a teenager who carried out traffic violation, whatever way you want to look at it, was stopped by French police. And there's actually footage uh, of the French police officer holding a pistol to the teenager's head. And the words, these words came out, really? I had to write them down to get them right. I'm going to lodge a bullet into your head. I'm going to lodge a bullet into your head before the police officer fired that shot and killed the teenager. I've no I I don't know why he would have done that. I don't know in any situation why you would shoot someone in the forehead at point blank range. Um I'm sure there'll be a full investigation carried out to find out why that officer did that. Um if he's been if he's been, I don't know, dirty Harry in it, then uh, send him to jail, throw away the key for life. That's that's all I say. Uh but it seems strange that you would shoot a teenager at point blank range with a pistol into the head uh, rather than deal with the situation. It doesn't make sense. So we'll see what happens there. Yes, that's in France. Um, at the minute, I, I, in my own opinion, people, I know there's going to be police officers watching this. Uh, and I know that many of them work extremely hard, long hours, and the public don't really support them as much as they used to. But I blame the police for that, if I'm, if I'm honest, because over the last two years, we've seen the police act like Gestapo across the UK. You know, why are you sitting on that bench by yourself? Why are you not wearing a mask? I'm by myself on the bench, but you should be wearing a mask in public place. But there's no one else around here. I mean, the police lost their common sense for about two years, nonstop, lost it. But at the same time, they let politicians get away with their partying, didn't they? 
and chief inspectors, you know, those in charge of Scotland Yard having their own private parties, yet everyone else was condemned. So um, if you want respect from the public, you know, you have to earn it, in my opinion. There we go. Right, now, now here's two stories. Uh, I'm, the word asylum seeker comes, in, comes into effect in the next two stories. So I could, no, I'll mention this one first, right? The government have decided to increase legal aid for asylum seekers by 15% so that lefty lawyers can represent them in court. Think of that. The government has increased legal aid by 15% so lawyers can represent them in court. Keep that story there. An asylum seeker that had that well, arrived in the UK uh, less than 40 days ago has been charged with rape, raping a woman, a Western woman, a UK woman. Yes, that's true. So. Let's just remember that we're paying to defend these people. But at the same time, the majority, the majority of these asylum seekers, economic migrants, right, and refugees are coming from countries where their laws, their laws and their cultural beliefs allow them to sleep with children, allow them to do all the things which are illegal and immoral in the West. But we are forcing them through our immigration system and we're letting them join the housing estates where we let our children play. Whether you like that or not, that's a fact. So even a YouTube reviewer who's probably going to watch my video, look it up. Look it up. Look up what Baji Baki is. Look at all these different things. All I'm saying is if you're going to bring people into the UK, they need to settle into our culture. They can't bring their culture and decide to spread their culture in ours. It's wrong. It doesn't fit in with society. Maybe that's why politicians support them. They need the votes. Craziness, isn't it? What's happening in the UK today, but you know, what do we do? How do we go about it? Well, I think I'll make a stand myself. I will make a stand myself this year. And will I say it here? Yeah, I will. Um, I can see that Labour have let us down. I can see the Conservative Party have let us down. I can see the Green Party never have a hope. I can see that all their parties are a waste of time and never gonna get anywhere. So this year, um, I'm probably going to back UKIP again. I probably am, whether you like it or not. It's one of those things. Um, yeah, Neil Hamilton, the leader of UKIP, and Ben Walker, the chairman of UKIP. I'm probably going to throw my hat in with them and just go, you know what? You've got my vote. Why not? It's free. Uh, well, people, listen, I'm now going to go and relax this morning. Uh, there is a video that I have been putting together, which I'm sure you'll enjoy very soon. Um, and I'm going to mention the word Princess Diana. Yes, yeah, the old Princess of Wales. And uh, I'm sure you'll know where I'm going with that. Anyway, listen, have a good day. Thanks for supporting my YouTube channel. Thanks to those that do support it through PayPal. You can support it for as little as one pound a month, which is a voluntary, a voluntary donation. You don't have to do it. Yes, but there we go. Anyway, listen, take care and uh, stay safe.